of the designs mm -hmm. was not part of the commercial agreement. In fact, Parliament requested for those figures mm. so that they can approve it. But were they given? Sorry? Was Parliament giving those figures? Yes, footnote. Why why not? Why weren't they giving? They were I'm saying that they provided mm. it under the footnote. Okay. That we we will build uh, two uh, two bedrooms, mm -hmm. two thousand for instance. One bedroom, thousand. Mm. Three bedrooms, two thousand. Okay. So you have your five thousand. These are the quantities units. you're talking quantities. about. Okay. But the actual detailed work, mm. that is the works agreement. Mm. Works agreement. Parliament didn't approve the works agreement. Okay. It was the ministry that approved mm. the works agreement upon the recommendation by the consultant mm. which has been appointed by the government. And for that matter, Minister of Works and Housing. Okay. You understand my mm. point? I get you. So when the E EPC agreement was uh, 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 signed, mm. they stated in it that the first phase should be 1,502. Mm. It should be completed, sold out. Completed and then when? Completed, uh, I think, after 12 months or so. But, but, the, but it's not been completed as we speak. So it, they, they why, didn't... Why, were, why was it not completed? Actual, the actual work started in 2014. Okay, but we have paid 20, over 90%. 2014. So why was can it not completed? I, can, right. I, can I build my hmm. point, please? So the first phase, which was to construct... You have not told me whether it was completed or not. I'm asking, was it completed? Why was it not completed? We didn't because complete, we paid we didn't, over 90% of the We didn't, we didn't complete when we left office. Okay, why not? We paid over 90%. But we had, we had completed more than 90% of the work done. Because for, 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 us, for, for us, before we left office, we could account for all the 1,502. Okay. I didn't know this matter will come up today. Mm. Because I have a report by the consultant stipulating all the activities that was undertaken before we left office. Okay. And giving the categories of work done before we left office. Mm. Maybe I'll, I'll have to finish it. If I have the report here and give it to you, okay. you read it and you understand things for yourself. Clearly. So what, what, so, ha what so, happened in the, so, in the middle of... So you agreed, you went on site... You were supposed to have done a 12-man job. By the time you left office, you had paid over 90% of the total sum of 200 million. And yet, we cannot use the project. That's what government is saying. Is that the correct picture? You see, the, if you say that you have paid for uh, about 90% and that you needed to provide that commensurated work, mm. don't forget, in that payment, include the cost of the consultant. I mean, mm. payment the fees to the consultant. So if you're not careful and you want to just divide $200 million uh, dollars mm. by 5000 you, you, you get it wrong. But as it stands, you get it wrong. the facility so, cannot be used. That's what government is saying. The facility cannot be used today mm. because the minister who is supposed to read the contract mm. and know that it is the duty of government to provide uh, 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 utilities to the site. Mm has not done that. Because in that contract that was signed, mm -hmm. it was the responsibility of government of Ghana to extend water to the site, mm -hmm. even though the contractor will do the layout, lay the pipes, build everything in okay. there, do, do the uh, sewer system, put the machines, and then do the, the, the power, electricity mm -hmm. network <clears throat> to be done by the contractor, which the contractor did, but it was the duty of government of Ghana to extend water to site, to extend power to site, mm. and then to get the sewage facility also, also on site. You are saying the minister has not read the contract. I didn't if say, he say that. If he's saying this, then he has not read the contract. Because, because it is because he's complaining today mm. that the facilities are un, uh, unhabitable mm. today. Mm. Because of the fact that there's no water there. So even if those things have been completed, mm -hmm. because there's lack of water, Absence of electricity, the sewer system has not been done. We will go and live there. And so, and so when we're in the office, mm. we initiated the processes of getting a contractor to do to send water to site, to send uh, power to site, so that we, uh, the place will be habitable. And what the, what was the result of that effort? We didn't finish. We were in the process when we, did, we went into the elections and we lost. And after the elections, we didn't do anything. He says some new one contracts over, were signed. Some way work contracts were signed by some chief directors and all of them will face the music of the law. So far as I'm concerned, there was nothing like that that happened. What happened was that mm. when the contract period 
laughs. And we realize that the contractor has not been able to complete mm -hmm. the project. Mm -hmm. In implementing a project of that kind, the contractor came for extension. Mm -hmm. Extension of time at no cost to government of Ghana. Mm -hmm. So instead of say completing in December 2015, mm -hmm. we extended it so that they, uh, they have additional months right. to work on the project. Absolutely. That was what the uh, chief director did. There was no financial implication. No, because, because I remember even at one stage, mm. when the contractor came for the extension, mm -hmm. they were claiming that we made some delays, that's why they couldn't finish. Mm. And after sitting down with them, we made it clear to them that it wasn't our fault. And so we didn't add the first one. To the, 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 the contractor. So, what checks are the minister talking about there? So, checks so that were signed? What checks? What checks are, mm? and I, I, think, I think that when the minister assumed office, mm. now he's saying that there was, the, the contract, the whole contract was fraud. Right. So there were if, certain elements of it. Yeah, so if, if the contract was fraud, as alleged by the minister, mm. what do you do if you assume office? What the minister did when he assumed office, he went to cite and commended highly. The contractor and the supervising ministry for a good work done. After that, I don't know what happened. Are you surprised the minister, that the minister, the is minister, like the minister went ahead mm. and then a, a honor certificate that has been raised by the, the, the contractor for work done? For work done. So in, um, March, so in March 2017, mm. under the watch of Honorable uh, Atajina, mm. they effected payment to the tune of $5.6 million. For works that have so, been done, which he's complaining about now. Yes, that's right. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. So, because if you're blaming Karanzada that he did something wrong, mm. one would have expected either he terminates the contract mm. or end the contract or review the contract or make sure the right thing is done before you continue. The minister, insists, the the minister insists that yep, yep. He, 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 made, he, he wasn't aware what the payments were for. So the Ghanaians who are listening to us, mm -hmm. if we're a minister of state and an amount of 5.6 million is paid because before a certificate leaves the ministry, mm -hmm. it has to be signed by the minister to finance ministry right. before it will be honored. So if the minister is telling us today that those monies were paid at the bright side of him, then that is a very serious indictment on the minister himself. He says, wait for court. Wait, so, wait and go to court. So, Are you ready to so, go to court? So the point I'm making is that mm. the minister said in 2018 mm -hmm. that they were ready to take some ministers to court. <laughs> in 2020, that threat and that... You, you see it as of, a threat? That kind of uh, 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 behaving as if uh, people are afraid of what mm. he's doing. Nobody is afraid. You are not scared? For what? Will you go to court? Ah, if the, if the state invites you to go, won't you go? You will go. Are you clean? More than clean. More than clean. So how, so how, my point how is come that, you are being accused now? My, my, my point is mm. that if the minister says that the contract was fraud, mm. what did he also own a certificate? Under his watch, mm. when the contract was extended, mm. And they assume office. The contractor again couldn't complete the project. The contractor again came, went for another extension. And this was done under his watch. Are you suggesting to me that as of, as of the time we were leaving office, you gave the state value for money in the Saglami project? Exactly. Exactly. Before we left office, we had completed 1,038 units. 1,038 units mm. had been completed. And then the remaining were at the various stages of completion. In fact, I remember 90 was just around the footing, but the rest, some at the roofing level, and some of them just uh, 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 putting in the ties mm. here and there, wiring, mm. and that kind of thing. So, but before we left office, mm. we could account for the 1,502 units that was approved and agreed upon mm. in the, uh, the EPC agreement. Okay, this is Hot Issues. My guest is the Honorable Samson. He, he is uh, in a face-to-face -face with the Honorable Minister for Works and Housing, 
Samoa Chacha, who today in Parliament had mentioned that, well, the Saglami housing project had issues and some illegalities have been done and the persons involved should get ready to go to court. Samsina is ready to go to court. Stay with us. When we return from the break, we'll ask him how those who expected to live in those houses should be feeling at this point. Another issue. Stay with us. This is issues. Welcome back to Hot Issues. My name is Johnny Hizem. Many thanks indeed for your time. My guest in studio is the Honorable Member of Parliament for Bodhi Constituency and a former Deputy Minister for Works and Housing. Before the break, we're talking about the uh, cost of the projects and everything else. What was the estimated time that you had in mind to complete the 5,000 housing units? It was to be done in three phases. Okay. Over what period? I mean, uh, over... A period of about say four five years mm -hmm. that was it okay and so in fact the point i'm making now is that the minister said in the answer mm -hmm. that the first payment was 40 percent okay which was 80 million dollars you have said 20 percent we, we've crossed I'm that stage that already that is not true we've crossed that stage already i'm asking you now that you are saying four years you're expected to complete it in four years now it's not completed. We have always had housing deficit. The promise was made to the people to get them housing, you know, cheap houses for them to stay in, affordable housing. Now the project is not there. How does that make you feel as the former man in charge of trying to provide shelter for the people that never was? Yeah, it is rather unfortunate that when we left office, in fact, by the time we left office, mm. we had put in place churches to start selling some of the completed ones. At how much? But we didn't, we didn't determine the price. Mm. But because there was no water mm. and the power to the site, that's why we were working seriously on getting the infrastructure on site. Mm. That was what we were doing. So some people even came mm. that they were ready with their monies to buy. And we didn't sell them because we said, we can't sell a house without those facilities, amenities to you. How much were they willing to buy for? I mean, we were, we were supposed to meet and determine the price. Because, because this, was, this it was supposed to be affordable. affordable. The government was going to take the cost of the land mm. and some costs. Government was going to bear some costs. You understand? But you said so, earlier, you so, said earlier so, that the 200 million, mm. which is now being contested, including mm. the cost for the land and other things. And the infrastructure and other things. So I don't get it. Was, if it was factored into the 200 million, then how are you saying now that government was to take the cost of the land and other things? No, no, no. What I mean by the, there are two issues here. Mm. We have the infrastructure on site. Okay. That has to be provided by the contractor. Right. So doing the pipe, laying the pipes, mm. laying, doing the streets, okay. connecting the, the electricity wiring mm. the houses and then the streets lighting and those kind of things. Mm. Mm. That's the on-site infrastructure. Okay. But you remember you need to extend power from certain points okay. into the site. Okay, and those ones are what government will take care of. That is what okay. government was supposed to take care of. So we engaged Ghana Water Company mm. uh, Limited, for instance, to give us an idea how we can get water to the site. Mm. We engage ECG, for instance, to give us an idea as to how we can get power to the site. Mm. Even though you have provided all those things and did already they agree? on site. Did they agree? We were in the process of negotiating. For how them. long were you in the process of talking to agencies that are work under your government? There were, there were complexities in those discussions. What kind of complexities? You no, know, you have to take the power, water, for instance, we wanted to connect it from home Mm. Direct. And connected from Pond Direct, it has to pass through some properties here and there. So negotiations, you have to... Uh, Did make, we not think make, about all of this before we put the a plan and made a promise to the people? Of course, that we're you, putting, of course you did. So, but when so it comes to why? actual implementation, that is where you have to agree on. But you, but you, but you need... You're you a planner, man. You need a plan to be able to implement. The plan should be composite and then you everything, implement it. Everything was... In place. So how come? Executing it, 
you needed because the project on I mean that's why I said that mm. the cost of the project the the commercial agreement mm. was what was approved by parliament I hear you on that I'm so, saying that so so these details mm -hmm. that I'm talking about was not approved by parliament but, but it is then that after the approval mm. the financial approval have been given before the engineers the, minister, the uh, uh, personnel from the ministry would then start that no those negotiations. But if you were building your own house, like we all do, would you plan for one and leave the other and say we'll plan for it later? Because that seems to have stalled the project. Really. No, it didn't. They were, work they were all moving simultaneously. Do you understand? What I meant was, because it was the responsibility of government of Ghana to provide off-site infrastructure, mm -hmm. You needed to get resources. Resources from where? Yes, from the government of Ghana. But the buildings are rotting away now. We would have, we, we would have done it by now. So the it's, minister... It's easier said than done. The, no, the ministry, because I know what I'm talking about, because we initiated steps to ha ensure mm. that we got all those amenities on site. When the minister came, instead of him continuing... Mm. And knowing that even those ones that have been completed, mm. he keeps on saying that they, they are unhabitable. Blame game. They are unhabitable. Blame game. Forgetting the, the fact that he is the one who is supposed to make the place habitable because he has to get water to the site. Can the average civil servant or, if you like, layman afford what we have put out there? That is why we brought, we brought in Ghana Home Loans mm. to be the off taker so that if you are interested, you go through Ghana Home Loans, then Ghana Home Loans will, will, will buy the Averagely, house. Averagely, how much did Ghana Home Loans tell you they were going to sell the project for? One, one unit for a two-bedroom flat, for example. Per the, per, per the initial proposal that they brought, mm. it was around $40,000. If I, if, I, if I work at the Ministry of Works and Housing and I earn 1,500 CDs per month, it would take me forever to pay that, don't, don't you think? Don't, don't forget there were three... Uh, three bedroom houses. Mm. There were two bedrooms and then one bedroom. But I'm saying that so, it would so, take me forever. So, don't you agree? No. So if the uh, three bedrooms is forty thousand dollars, for instance, then definitely the one bedroom is not forty. It will still be. It will still be. And that is why. That is why. That is why. That is why you are giving a mortgage facility, and per the law, you are not supposed to use more than thirty percent of your monthly income mm. on shelter. So all those things were factored. So if your monthly income is 1,005, as mm. you're saying, and you are, then you're entitled to one bedroom, okay. then we'll make sure that mm. what will be deducted to service your mortgage mm. will not be more than 30% of your monthly income. And we're moving to COVID issues now. Yeah, yeah. Your side in parliament is mm. asking for Two hundred and forty explanation by three, government exactly yeah. to be made to you. I'm asking, mm -hmm. did that explanation not come at the time that the money was being demanded for? No, the details mm. wasn't given. Why didn't you ask? I mean, mm. the government, you know, it was done under emergency, uh, under, under emergency, mm. and during emergency situations, you will the, the government will just bring the programs. Mm -hmm. We want to do A, B, C, D. And that is it. The approval was given. Now, come and give, show us. If we said you wanted to, fed, uh, to feed uh, mm. 400 people, mm. how much did it cost? How many days did you cook for uh, to feed the mm. 400 people? How soon did it, do you want These this done? These are the details that we want. How the soon do you want this done? Now we have raised the matter. We are anticipating that. As soon as possible, mm. the finance minister will finish parliament with those, those informations. Are some members of parliament contracting the coronavirus? Not as to far the best, as you know. Not to the best of my knowledge. You don't know. I have done the test. Mm. Uh, and I know that... Do you know your status? Have you been told? I have not been told anything. Why not? But I understand the principle is that if, 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 if you contract the virus, mm. they will call you and let you know after 48 hours. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming... That and I did it uh, uh, almost two weeks ago. Okay. So if I've not been called after forty-eight hours, my conclusion is that I don't have it. But you sit in and a I chamber. Don't know, I you don't sit know. in a chamber with your colleagues. Uh, how would you feel if you got to know that 
you know, a colleague of yours had it and it's, it's kept away from you because you work together as a team of 275, how would you feel? That would be very, very uh, problematic for everybody because then you don't even know, one, if you don't know who has uh, gotten it, mm. you don't know where he sat mm. yesterday or a week ago, which people did he come into contact with? Mm. So then it's a problem. Should we shut parliament? So, so, for so out, 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 out of uh, safety, should we shut parliament? Yes, for safety? I, am, I am one of those people who, who are calling for uh, closing down of parliament because of the uncertainty in this uh, coronavirus uh, period. But that would affect government business. That would affect, for example, the CI that EC has it's, put it's, before it's, you it's, to, it's to make not, sure to allow them to go ahead with their business. So what, what purpose will it serve if after the CI has matured and all of us are dead? For example, so then it, it seeks to suggest that you are deliberately asking for this to block uh, the CI so that the AC cannot get the chance to do their job. Would you agree to that? That's not the point. Have you forgotten even when we were racist? From time to time, when government needed members of parliament to work, we we'll call upon and we, we did that. Remember recently when we vetted the, the four Supreme Court judges, parliament was on recess. Mm. So depending on and the circumstances of the time, if government put in a request, we respond to it positively. Mm. But this is a situation where we are talking about life mm. and death. Mm. And we don't know who and who have contracted the virus. So everybody is in a, not in the best frame of mind. It means you don't feel protected in the house from we don't, COVID. We don't. We don't. There's a problem. Because psychologically, it doesn't, it doesn't even help what we are doing. It affects your work? Exactly. How? Because if I know that, like I said, I did it two weeks ago. I don't know my status. I'm just taking the, the, the light that because I've not been called, okay. I'm assuming that I don't have it. I don't know who has been called. And if that person who has been called had the contact with me, how do I know it? You understand? And the situation is that if it, it, it may happen that two weeks ago when I did the test, I didn't have it. But the following day, I came into contact with somebody who have it. Samsiahi, I thank you very much for your time. I wish you all the best uh, in the forthcoming elections if it does go through. Uh, let's wait for, for the courts to decide and let's see what happens. But you are telling me that you're ready to go to court to clear yourself. I wish you all the best. I mean, I'm not even going, going to court. You're not going to court? No, it's not... I didn't sign anything. I didn't sign anything. But you were the man in, the pro but, in charge of the project. But I'm speaking to the issues because I was a deputy minister there. In charge of the project. I followed whatever happened. If that it turns out why. that what the minister is saying is true, how would you feel? That you were the man in charge know, of the project. I know it's not true. And you didn't know. But if it turns out it's true, what, how would you feel? I know it's not true because from what I know, from what I know mm. and the report that I have, unless the, the, the consultant lied to us, unless the consultant didn't tell us the truth, but from what the report given by the consultant, mm. and next time I will bring you the document, the first payment was 40 million, not 80 million. Because of this, I'm certain that nothing on top was, was, was done. We did the job diligently. Thank you. 20% he says he insists that was paid. My name is John Hughes. Many thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Good evening.